Hello, everybody. Let me know if you can hear me. If you can hear my, hear my microphone and the keyboard, let me know. Hello, everybody. Uh, sitting here actually I just got back in from re a recording session and I, man, I was on the drive home I was thinking um, what is the most important skill and I, I thought you know what why don't we have a conversation about it um, and I know it's been a while uh, since I've been on so uh, if you're new <laughs> thank you for jumping on um, my name is Corey Taylor from skillmusician.com where we are helping musicians improve. So thank you so much for joining, um, this live stream today. Um, I, um, I just kind of want to talk for a little bit today. I'm mean, not going to be on really long and I always say that it ended up being on for like two hours, but honestly, I just want to be on for a few minutes and I want to ask the question for you all as musicians, what? is the most important skill what's the most important skill of all the skills that are out there or is there a most important skill so let me know in the chat is there a most important skill and if, if there is what is the most important skill Let's see if we can come to some agreement on this So let me talk to everybody and see. Hey, Nate. Um, he says, blessings, brother. I learned something new every time. Ah, oh, thanks, man. I really appreciate that. Hey, Sam. Vicky, hey, how are you? Moses, good to uh, hear from you. Samuel Femi from Nigeria. I know it's early in the morning over there. It's like 2 in the morning or, or 3. Like, it's early in the morning over there. Um, Bay Levy, hey. Charon Wesley Cherry, hey, how are you? Willard, how are you? Dequan Diallo. So you let me know, what is the most important skill? And I think I can see you all, but let me check over here. Let me know in the chat. Let's have a conversation. What is the most important skill to have? Let me know. And let me check up here because I'm not sure if you all are typing and I'm just missing it. Or let's see. So yeah, what is the most important skill? Let's talk. Okay. All right. I'm trying to see if there's anything wrong with my chat. Is there something wrong with my stuff? Can y'all can y'all hear me? Can, let me know if you can, all can hear me. All right. So Nate says an open mind and willingness to learn. All right. Those are two good ones. 
right. Anybody else? Everyone's scared to ask. <laughs> I'll tell you this. There, there, I don't, I don't, I'll personally say I don't believe there is a one right answer to this. <laughs> Lao says listening. Ah, ah, that is a great one. Bay says, Nate says, training your ears is a big one too. Nate says, scales. Anybody else? Anybody else? Anybody else? Just take a wild guess. Wild guess. Nate says muscle memory, which comes through practice. Yeah. Samuel says discipline. Hmm. All right, that's a great answer too. Discipline. Vicky says the ability to play in every key. <laughs> uh, oh, <laughs> Bay says harmony skills. Uh, all right, well. Those are all great answers. But let me see. Here's the conclusion I came up with. Every skill. And so I'm, um, let me, let me just preface this by saying, I, I'm just kind of sharing with you all my unadulterated raw thoughts. Um, I, um, so I wanted to have a conversation with y'all cause you all are really, really, um, intelligent uh musicologists <laughs> if you will so um so we're just having a conversation here but i i think there is no skill that is separate from another skill so i don't i don't think there's one most important skill i think there are many now i think there are some that lead that that are, that pre precede others like having discipline as someone as or Lao Yik Singh said no 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 not who said discipline Samuel Femi said discipline I think discipline is really really important in order to accomplish anything to do anything um hey Gordon August says ear training skills Oh, uh, okay. I think I I think listening. When I first thought, thought about this to myself, I said listening has to be the most important skill. But listening by itself, you know, you just become a great listener of music. <laughs> um but there has to also be the actual skill of executing the things that you have in your in your head so i don't have an exhaustive list normally i come on and give you like an exhaustive list of some things but i just want to talk today and let's like let's think through some things i think listening is one of my top discipline as well having an open mind is a great one willingness to learn uh, is a great one as well yeah so um I think the conclusion I want to say on it is that in your growing, in your grabbing skills, and maybe maybe I could, I could do another video where where we talk in depth. We're just having fun and just kind of talking right now. But there is no skill in isolation. 
And so it's important to develop as many skills as possible because they influence many other areas of your playing. Um, Hal Galper, who is a jazz musician um, and an author, um, he talks about, um, or maybe maybe it was um, Kenny Werner. I'm not sure. It was either Hal Galper or Kenny Werner. I think it was Hal Galper. But he, he talks about how he spent like a summer or something, a, a, a period of time working on pentatonic scales, playing pentatonics. And by the time he finished, like he, all this, all he did was work on pentatonics for like an extended period of time. He didn't play anything else but pentatonics. But he found that when he sat down to play chords, all of a sudden he was playing chords he'd never even considered. They, they were just coming to him. Um, and that kind of gives us the sense that things are tied together. And so I would say there are, um, in, in your growing and trying to become the best musicians you can be, I think it's important to go for every, <laughs> try to get everything you can get. Now, there are some pre-skills. Like every musician has to, has to have some form of discipline in order to be good. Um, that's just, that is what it is. Um, every musician that's great has been in the practice room practicing for hours on end. That's just, there, there is no way around that. No, no matter who it is, Mozart, Oscar Peterson, Corey Henry, no matter who you are, every one of them has spent hours and hours and hours and hours practicing. There's no way around that. Um, there's no way around that. Um, and so one of the pre-skills you have to have before you even sit down at the piano is the discipline. And I do agree that an open mind is something you, you must have as well. A willingness to learn for sure. Um, and then uh, once you get into the playing and the executing, um, there has to be a perseverance. So many of us give up after we start and don't persevere through the hard stuff. There's so many things, challenges that, that come up musically that many of us pers don't persevere through. Um, I have so many students that I teach and, and I'll show them my idea and they'll say, um, and then they might come back later and be like, of course I tried the idea and it doesn't work. And I, and I will show me how you tried it. And they'll show me how they tried it. And it's like, did you try anything else? I'm like, no, <laughs> that's it. It's like, okay. Um, well, like the persevere through that and, and find more as if your life depended on it, you know, then you'd really find some cool things. Um, I think, listening, being able to hear and, and, and play. Uh, so play what you hear and all the skills required to do that. Uh, so I would say ultimately, the, I don't think there's one most important skill. I think there's a whole bunch of skills we have to do. And so we should always be working on every, like working on the, the skills that we we're struggling with. Um, mo a lot of people struggle with discipline and motivation matter of fact, I just put a video up about that. Um, and if you ever want to achieve your your dreams, I get it. But, but we got to discipline ourselves. And just and just make sure that we that we do it. We make it happen. Um, y'all give me some more. I'm, I'm kind of just just talking and sharing what's, what's on my heart at the moment. But y'all y'all give me some more some more skills like must have skills that you you got to have to be a successful musician. Y'all share some more with me. And maybe I'll just play a second while while y'all are writing. <laughs> mm.
So I see some, um, uh -oh. I see some, some good suggestions. Improvisation, improvisational skills. Um, that those are important. Ear training, proper technique. Those are all important. Those are all important. Now, Ebo says, Eboy says, how do I discipline myself? Um, well, the first thing, um, something I mentioned on the previous video is you got to determine your motivational style. Um, are you intrinsically motivated or extrinsically motivated? And then once you know that, you can figure things out. Like I talked about in the last video, Kobe Bryant, to me, is in, was intrinsically motivated. He didn't need anybody else external of him. He was motivated to be the best he could and didn't need anything from anybody else. Like, I'm going to be the best and I'm going to do whatever it takes. Um, Michael Jordan is one that seems to be extrinsically motivated in the sense that he, he always is looking for the person that said something bad about him so he could, uh, <laughs> so he can, uh, um, so I can motivate him. Um, so the first thing you need to do is figure out what type, what's your motivation style. For me, I'm mostly extrinsic, but I am intrinsic as well. Um, and so I like to have, um, I, I create accountability in my life. That's, that's the way that I ensure, I ensure I practice. So if you're internally motivated, you just practice nonstop and you don't, you don't need any, any, anybody else to tell you to practice like Corey Henry, you know, all day, just playing. Um, he talked about, what was his eighth grade year? He dropped out and just played all day, every day. There's stories of Eddie Brown, who's who's a he's a like a prodigy in gospel music. Like practice like 12, 16 hours a day. Um, um so those guys are really intrinsically motivated. They don't need you to tell them to practice. That's they do it all day long. So uh learn your your motivation style. Um, so if you're extrins, ex, uh, extrinsically motivated, then you need to find accountability. So you need someone to be able to say, Hey, E-boy, have you practiced today? And if you haven't, you know, you got to practice. I used to have a contract with my friends that if you didn't practice today, you have to pay money and to put money in the pot. Whoever practiced the most that week won the pot of money. <laughs> and so we were practicing nonstop. Uh, um, so have have somebody help hold you accountable to practice. Okay, uh, let's see. Time, rhythm is important. Yes, uh, figuring out what to practice and how to practice. Those are, that's important as well too. Um, and here's the thing: during this pandemic, and the, you know the. Uh, I've been following the news and they're talking about um, more lockdowns are to come. There are going to be more lockdowns. Right, listen, for, for the musician, this is this is your time to really grow. Um, this is your time to grow and, and like make tremendous strides. I'll tell you all this. Um, I, one summer... I was in college and one summer I was an electrical engineering major. And during one summer I decided I was going to practice every day a lot. And I came back from a summer internship. And when I got back, uh, um, when I got back to um, Clemson where I was in school, um, all the guys around there were like, whoa, you've improved. Like, like you're different. You, you're playing, like you've, you're in a different place. Um, and all it took was two, two solid months of really, really, really working really, really hard every day, just going at it. Um, 
And so during this pandemic, we've had, you know, and I understand you got to survive and do what you need to do um, if you have to, you know, work and these things like that. But if you're able to be home, then man, this is the best time to practice and work on those skills that you um, struggled with before. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's try this. Everybody, let me know in the chat, how many hours a day are you practicing right now? Or if you're practicing at all. So let me know in the chat, how many hours are you practicing right now, a day? Um, E-Boy says, wait, you double majored? No, I, I went to school as an electrical engineer. I spent four, four and a half years doing electrical engineering. It was, it was like a year away from graduating. Um, but I decided to uh, drop out of school and pursue music. And I played and toured. And then I went back to school to get my music degree. So Chris says he's practicing two hours a day. That's great. That's great. If you if you are trying to be a professional musician, then I would say, at minimum, two hours a day. If you're if you're trying to be a professional musician, two hours a day. Uh, Joseph Nas says zero point two, zero point two hours. Okay. It's like 12 minutes a day. Okay. E-Boy says uh, two, two hours on the drums, two hours on the keys. Wow, you're going for it. Well, keep going, man. I'm sure you are sounding amazing if you're practicing like that. Uh, you say you didn't get the engineering degree. I know I, um, I didn't. I, I ended up because I had, I had taken so much math, I ended up minoring in math, um, but I didn't go back and get my engineering degree. I just stuck with the music degree. Um, Um, Sebastian says 30 minutes daily, more on the weekends. Okay, cool. Protocol says purpose, plan, and action, systemized approach. Studying outside areas of outside views to enhance your overall understanding and grasp of the tools. Okay, cool. I agree. Practicing without a plan is wasted. The content and focus is the most important. True, you should have a plan. You should have a framework, a plan. Um, of, of, of practice for sure Zach says every day less than an hour of real practice lots of undisciplined noodling okay Ock Perry says I practice like two hours a day okay so we have a lot of people practicing two hours a day maybe um, So Zach, what are your goals? Do you want to be a professional musician? Are you already a professional musician? Um, protocol says 10 focus minutes is more powerful than one hour. Yeah, I agree. But an hour of focus is more than, is better than 10 minutes of focus. And so we're assuming that this is focus practice. Um, so we're saying, we're assuming that you're practicing and you're practicing focus. So how many hours of focus practice, if you want me to be clear or, or, or specific? NJ Hoop says for a music major, I would say eight hours. Um, well, um, says before professional, it should be about 10. Um, well, there are varying views on this NJ Hoops uh, about how long a musician should practice. Uh, there have been studies that shown after four hours of practice, the gains are minimal. So uh, they say the sweet spot is somewhere between two to four hours for a professional musician. Um, anything beyond four hours is, um, the gains are minimal. 
With that said, though, that's that's the theory. But with that said, everybody that I know that practice more than four hours a day, I was practicing eight hours a day, like 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 a job. Uh, either one of two things happen: they they either they rose like a rocket ship, and then flamed out really really fast, like flamed out really really fast, or they are some of the best musicians you ever heard in your life. <laughs> so, <laughs> another theory says about four hours is the max. Uh, but you know, um, we'll, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so, uh, uh, NJ Hoop says I'm a music minor and I'm usually on the piano for about six to eight hours a day. Yeah. I would love to hear you play, NJ. Drop a link to something that something that you've done. I would love to hear you play. And uh, uh, Chris puts <laughs> forty hours a day. Did you mean forty hours a week? <laughs> um, wait, 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 wait. Um, NJ. Were you, now there is somebody I've been trying to reconnect with. NJ, do you, were you playing on an upright piano? Was that you? Um, like an acoustic piano, or might, it might have, I think it was upright. Was that you or was that someone else? Um. I think that was you. NJ, were you playing on an upright? Yes. I, we need to reconnect. Um, I, yeah, man, we, we need, we need to, we need, we need to reconnect. I, um, yeah, um, yeah, I want to reconnect with you. NJ can play. NJ Hoops, that he can play. He sounds amazing. <laughs> we had a great lesson together. Uh, man, he is a phenomenal music. Great touch, great feel, and he's worked on it. Now, I wish you all could hear him play because he is phenomenal. And... Uh, um, with just a little tweaks, just a little, just a little bit of work, he's he's gonna he he, he can be one of the next great ones, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Just a little tweak, he he might be one of the great ones. <laughs> um, so all right, uh, I am going to uh, I'm going to send you an email. I'm going to send you an email. Um. Uh, Protocol says, I've been playing for 25 years and found that the times vary. In the beginning, it was in from 8 to 10 hours. Now it's two hours practice and, and an open play from time to time. Um, yeah, and things change. You know, during my college years, um, I practiced a lot more than I do now. Now, you know, with three children and wife uh, and uh, uh I don't practice, and and, te and I'm constantly teaching now. Um, I uh, I can't practice as much as I'd like, um, but I take that back. I can. I just have to drop something, which which is uh, is 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 what it is. There's always a sacrifice. Something. There's an exchange of time. So um, yeah, um, for sure. Wow. This has been great. Zach says the new one was kind of a joke. Most time I spent practicing tunes for upcoming gigs. Yeah, but I'm not doing the analysis work. Former practice of my more serious musician friends are doing. Um, yeah, yeah. Protocol says, do you play other instruments? I um, I I started piano and drums at the same time. So, I I was in the Clemson band. I I marched there, John. You know, I was hardcore into that. Like. I, I attended drum corps camp. I was going to audition for Carolina Crown. Actually, I started the process, but 
logistics wouldn't let me stay there, so I had to I had to come on back home. But yeah, I was hardcore into um, drum core snare drum, like like the movie uh, Drumline with Nick Can Can Nick Cannon. Um, no, that was me. I'd be out at the at the the um, on the field marching by myself with my snare drum, just trying to get better. So yeah. Um, yeah, so, um, but I, I gave up drums my sophomore year in college. So I marched my freshman year and then I gave it up to just focus solely on piano. Uh, Chris says, just never sleep. That's the ticket, man. Just don't sleep. <laughs> All right, don't hold me to that. I'm just kidding. Sleep, get some rest. Yeah, Ramona says, uh, I will admit that it's hard to practice with three kids in three different grades and doing the virtual school, but I still get my work in practicing. Exactly. Like, you just got to make the commitment to get get your work in. You know, so, um, uh, you know, it might it might be that you don't have the, t like, before I could practice for six hours straight, nonstop, and, and no interruptions, right? Now, that's not the case. Um, so you find... You don't, you don't find, don't look for the big, big, big spots. Just find the little things. Like, little spot, there's a 10-minute spot right here. I'm going to practice. I'm going to wake up 30 minutes early so I can get 30 minutes in of practicing. I'm going to do 20 minutes before I go to sleep. Instead of watching that show, I'm going to practice during that show time. Um... Let's see. Protocol says, what app are you using to broadcast this? Um, hey, uh, uh, Protocol, I have a, like a course I, where I, I, I show you everything I do. Uh-oh. Where I show you everything. So if you're interested, go go to skillmusician.com and go to the store. And I have a course there where I show you everything I use, how to do it, how to set it, how to do everything I'm doing and more. So it's pretty cool. Um, NJ says, Karma, shoot your call tomorrow to hash out some details, but we definitely have to reconnect. Yes, let's talk. Let's talk. I really want to. Um, yeah, I, I really think, uh, NJ, that you can, you could, you could be the next great one. <laughs> I really do. Um, and, and ever since our lesson, I've been, I've been, I've been think, thinking about uh thinking thinking about working with you and helping you. Uh all right, y'all see that zero five thirty two thousand eight. If you don't know, that's my uh wedding anniversary. That's when, that's the date I got married, and that high honey is my wife. So hey, beautiful. The Bible says, a man that findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And I found a great thing. My life is immensely better because I have my wife. She is the love of my life, my best friend, and a godly woman. These are hard to find. <laughs> so if you found one, this isn't a love channel, nothing like that. But if you found a good wife, uh, a good woman, uh, cherish her. All right, protocol says I appreciate your assistance. Great chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, NJ, definitely, definitely. Let, let's let's connect. Um, let's make that happen. Uh, great potential. And for anybody else that's interested, and this is not this is not a an ad or anything like. Oh, well, it is an ad, but it's not like purposeful. I'm, but if you're wanting to get better, especially during this this time, go to my website and set up a lesson with me. Um, and even if you can't do consistent lessons, just, just one to kind of make sure you're headed in the right direction. Um, one of the things we try to do is we try to do this music thing on our own. And I, I said it recently, I don't know any musician that's done the whole music thing by themselves. Like everybody I know has made an investment in themselves. Investment, investing in your musical education. Um, 
And oftentimes music gets a bad rap. Um, and people think investing in it makes you less, but it doesn't. Everybody I know has had help and has somebody work with them. Um, all of them, all the best. Um, yeah, like in everything in life, you know, we invest. Um, I'm trying to think of something that you don't invest in. Like my wife is a counselor and every year she has to get credits, you know, see continuing education credits. So she has to pay for courses, um, you know, to keep her things up. You know, no matter what you want to do, you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, these things you got to, you know, invest. So I'm going to encourage you during this pandemic time, invest in yourself. Um, um, and it doesn't have to be a me, you know, just, just invest in yourself. And because I, I truly, like, honestly, I want to see everyone <laughs> that I come in contact with become the best musicians possible. And... Um, and part of doing that is really investing in, in, in you. Like I'm going to, like you hear about athletes all the time um, that say, you know what? I'm going to bet on myself that this year I'm going to play really, really well. And you're going to have to pay me more than you would have paid me. Um, so make an investment in yourself. And I think it'll pay off greatly for you. Moses says, Corey, you have made me so eager to hear NJ Hoops play the keys. All right, he's phenomenal. He's phenomenal. Um, Protocol says, your voice leading video helped me understand some of the gospel techniques and approach. Question, have you ever captured yourself playing in that pinnacle pump moment that people rarely get to witness? Uh... Um, well, I, I play in church, um, uh, and so our church service is already recorded. So I guess at some point, some, something has been recorded for sure <laughs> of me that, um, but if you mean in my own private time, uh, no, I, I don't, I don't record that. I don't record that. Mm. Yeah, it's a great question. That's actually a great, great question. A protocol says, you know, those moments on keys that blow your own mind. Uh, yeah, you know what? Well, I'll tell you this. If you ever see me playing, especially in church, um, and I, I, I'll tell this to you. All. I've said this before and I'll say it again. In church, when I'm playing, I'm I'm constantly praying. I'm praying, you know, God, where you want me to go? Let me let me play what you want me to play. And sometimes I'm playing, and I don't realize what I'm playing. And I'm like, what am I playing? And then I'm, and then people will start singing what I'm playing before I know what I'm playing. And then I'm like, oh man, that was the perfect song. I would have never thought of that. And I'm the one playing it. <laughs> it sounds weird. Um, but I, you know, I believe, you know, God has helped me in those moments. Um, but th so those times really blow my mind. Um, the other time I can remember I was doing a gig on a, at a, on a, like a rooftop event. And uh, it was like a little trio setting. And I remember I heard a sound in my head, like, and then my hands played it. And I like, I was freaking out in my head. I was like, that's the sound I was looking for. <laughs> and then like a second later, I lost it. <laughs> but that moment right there, uh, I'll never forget it. <laughs> it was like the first time that ever happened. Like I, I like heard it and did it and it was perfect and it lasted for about three seconds and then I couldn't hold it <laughs> it's like trying to hold sand um when, or you know when you're trying to go for it 
or like if you're trying to make it like it escapes you but if you let it happen it'll happen that's funny uh ebo says what was the turning point in your playing uh well um i remember i talked to a trumpeter his name is marcus printup uh he he played with Wynton Marcellus in the jazz Lincoln Center Jazz Orchestra. Uh he's a phenomenal trumpeter. And um he had went to high school with one of my band directors. And so I got a chance to connect with him. And I I asked him like, how did you get good? How long did it take you to get good? Like where you went from being like an average trumpeter to like being like good. And he was like Two years of consistent practice. Two years of consistent practice. And I was like, I can do that. <laughs> I was like 19 at the time. I said, I can do that. And that's what set me off. And I started going. And, and it didn't even take two years for me to make a really huge jump in my playing. It took two months um, to make the first jump. And then after that, it just kind of spiraled and just snowballed into where I am today. Oh, man. Well, you know, I said I wasn't going to keep you on long, and I've been on for 45 minutes. I was only planning to be on for 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm on for 45 minutes. Okay. So listen, y'all, um, um, it's been great talking to you all. Um, I, um, um, as you all know, we've been, we've been in our premium membership and, and we have a lot of great content out there in, in the premium membership we have, um, and, and we're, we're getting ready to open up access to the membership again. We've closed access to so only those who are in it can be in it right now, but we're going to open it up again to the public, um, shortly. So if you're interested, I have a link in the description box called the early bird wait list. And you've heard me mention this in some other videos, but we have some some special things for you all on that early bird wait list um, that you should definitely take advantage of. Um, so just all you gotta do is put your name and email address on there, and uh, we have some really cool surprises for you all. Um, but I am really excited. I'm really, really excited. We have some big things coming, and this year, um, well, we got, <laughs> I can't give it away. I was about to, I was about to give some stuff away. I almost slipped. <laughs> I almost slipped. <laughs> um, I will not slip. Woo, I almost let, it, let some, some cats out the bag. We got some big things coming though. So you all stay tuned. Protocol says, I'm in Australia. and so glad to be with you right now. Thanks for being on in Australia. It's 1040 in the morning, I believe. Uh, all right, Chris says much love, bro. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks, Chris. Much love as well. Um, all right, you all. Well, this was great. So until the next one, be blessed and happy practicing.